Hello, it's Sarah. And I put the camera on a tripod. It's a tiny little tripod, but I'm kind of shooting up at my front door. It's on, I have a porch. But I just wanted to share what I've done this year with the front porch. Um, my husband, I'm going to share a video with you guys of the lights. Maybe tonight I'll do it. He only has four songs ready so far, but what he's done is he's gotten... Here, I'll shoot over here. You see this thing? Hold on. Let me pull back a little. Sorry. So that's like a, a plastic sheet of like... He put LED lights in that. Hold on. I'm not shooting straight. Okay, there we go. So he has two of those, and he actually has two other ones that are freestanding that he hasn't put out yet. Uh, I'm going to just slowly... All right, so there's those trees. I think there's nine of them. He made those. He has the arches that he made. And he made this tree. And that has like strips, straps of LED lights as well. So, and there's lights all over the place. Lights are like all around everything on the trees, on the house. He made these little snowflakey things, okay? So anywho, we've been doing this for the last, let me just put the tripod back down so I don't make you sick. Um, let's see, I want to say, four, maybe this is our fourth year, maybe only the third. Anywho, I've never done anything with the front porch. Inside, I, I don't do a lot of decorating, period. I do the tree, um, and maybe like a few little touches here and there, a couple of different, mostly things that I've painted, that's it. I don't buy decorations anymore, um... I don't do like a lot of garlandy things or anything um, because it's just a lot to store. And now that he's doing the lights, it's become such a huge thing. Anywho, um, but I did want to share this because mainly the little trees, the little trees that you can see. Um, I didn't even Google it. I got these at AC Moore. So the whole thing the whole look probably I mean not counting my little um, porch greeters because I got those for that they were probably a hundred bucks altogether for the wood and the pattern packets for the three of them and I have the Santa the Mrs. Santa Mrs. Claus and the girl elf um, plumperty.com I I did a video on um, the Santa anywho um, I went to the Dollar Tree, got a few things. It was too cheesy, um, <laughs> but that's okay because I didn't want to spend a lot. Then I ended up going to AC Moore yesterday, and I'm very happy with what I got there for the for the price because it, I think it makes it festive enough without kind of. I want to go up a little higher. I don't know. I'm gonna try and hold this. No, I think we're fine. Oh, and those bells—they were Walmart. So I mean, I really tried to keep it very low like when I went to Michael's the stuff at Michael's was so expensive I was like oh heck no I'm not I'm just not doing it um so anyway these little trees and I'm going to try and zoom in so I'll turn the camera and I'll zoom in I just don't want to be shaky so if you google um palette tree a palette tree p-a-l-l-e-t it's like um a shipping pallet or, or whatever like I, I can picture them at Lowe's or something like they would have the pallet well they have them everywhere they stack the goods on these pallets then they can lift the pallet with their little pallet lifter trucks and stack them on the shelves but anyway it's just raw wood real raw wood and people have taken them apart and they make these little rustic Christmas trees and I've seen them in my neighborhood people have them and you can put lights on them, you can do so much. And I have seen them and liked them and really didn't know what I was doing with that little space. That little bowl up there is from the Dollar Tree. That little Merry Christmas sign is from the Dollar Tree. I put some um, pine cones inside of it and it wasn't enough. It just didn't, I was like, nah. But when I saw these trees, they were perfect because I knew they would fit inside the bowl and it was kind of like the stand for the tree. So that's what I'm doing. I did that and the way they're painted was actually the demo one that they had there. So that's why I got painted like that and I never Googled it or did anything. And then now that they're painted, I went online and like Googled it and there's so many cute ideas for these things. And I love them rustic. Like actually when I first painted it and sanded it, it looked super cute. Like with some like bald spots in the paint, you know what I mean? Like the, the, 
what would that be called? Like the grunge look or something. So um, I just wanted to share, um, go online and Google palette trees and all of our craft, crafty selves could be making these little things. And the one uh, video that I saw, she actually did her little um, tree rungs with um, scrapbook paper. And that was so cute. And I regretted painting after that. But I'm in paint mode. So I had paint on my desk. I was like, I'm painting them, whatever. And I don't know that they're done. Like, I haven't varnished them yet because I thought I could stencil on them. You can stencil words, like, let it snow, put snowflakes. You could do so much. So there, this is just the bare minimum that I decided to put out here just to be done kind of thing. Um, but that's it, basically. And then the other thing I wanted to show you was these little pillows that I have. They're just... Um, from the dollar store that was a dollar that's like a pillow cover like a um i'm sorry it's not a pillow cover it's a chair like you put it on the back of a chair like your kitchen chairs and i just covered the pillow the pillows that were already on my deck furniture so anywho um <laughs> it's kind of cheesy it's not the most expensive stuff i really kept it kept it down but i think it gives a little a cute little let me unzoom at least a little there's a um a tis the season look let me straighten this out all right now you're gonna get sick but it says tis the season it's just a little small let me straighten it out but i didn't um because our big one's big it just says uh i don't know welcome but i got that so here's my let me show you my little here's my santa and i just stenciled welcome it's all right it's, she had a, I think hers said ho, ho, ho. But that's him. I'm going to go slowly. There's Mrs. Santa. She's got her gingerbread, her present, and her little Christmas tree. And then the little girl elf. Look at the little elf shoes. So cute. They have a boy elf. She has a soldier a ginger I don't know a snowman that's another thing I saw so you can actually take the barrel staves apart and make a snowman there's so many things you could do so I just wanted to share that and then hopefully I'll come back with a um a little light show for you guys to share what Joe's been working on and he's uh, I don't know how much bigger he's gonna go like this thing see this this is what he makes this is what my porch looks like <laughs> and I try to keep it decent in the summer, but this is, uh, that thing, I don't know what it, I think it goes over bushes or trees or something, but he takes these mesh and then puts all, like he builds it. So it's like, it's all homemade. Like, look, here's the back of the LED thing. And then he has these boxes, like he built those. He doesn't buy them. Well, he buys the box, but then he builds the, whatever anywho he's crafty too but i have no clue what he's doing all right then so that's it all right you guys hope you're having fun decorating i know tis the season we've been busy um i owe you some art journal pages i know and i'll get there <laughs> thanks for watching